So I just came out of this Goodwill, and um, it's a Goodwill grand opening. The, the reason that I wanted to go there was because it, you can guarantee going into this place that you know nobody has scoured the shelves. You don't have that one guy that's there at opening or whatever that doesn't have a job or whatever. Um, so it's kind of uncharted territory for potential gaming goodness, I guess. And I, I guess that's what it was, but there wasn't really anything in there. There was an Xbox on the shelf for six bucks, which I'm, you know, we're not really into collecting that. If I found one and it was, six bucks isn't a bad for a video game console, I guess, but I don't know if it works. I don't really know Xbox. I know we had a 360 one at one point in time briefly and it broke like a week or two after we got it. Uh, I had the red ring of death. Um, so, so I'm not willing to, for six bucks, I know it's cheap, but I, we don't really collect for Xbox. I may get it just in case there's a game or something that we want to play. I don't know. Not this one, but someone in the, in the future that I know that works and it didn't seem like it had any of the cables. Um, they had two games there, I think, an Xbox game, or an Xbox 360 game, which I don't even know what it was, and like, I think they had one or two PS3 games, which I don't know if the screen will show any of that stuff. It's so crazy in there. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I've been in crazier places, but it was, I was probably a hundred, I don't know, maybe 50 people back in line, a hundred people back in line, and the line was wrapping almost like a second time around the building. And uh, I was only in line for about 15 minutes, which isn't long, you know, and they had a Goodwill guy mascot standing out there and they were giving away free totes, woohoo, yay. Uh, they were giving out supposedly 20 gift cards throughout the weekend and a, an iPad mini giveaway, but I didn't see any place to register and it said you had to register. I didn't see any table or anything like that. So what I'm assuming is that you make a purchase and they do all that at the register because they were giving some specific instructions on the keypad uh, at their cash registers when I left. So oh, I wasn't going to buy anything. Um, and I'm not that interested in going through all that just so I can get a $20 gift card or potentially an iPad. Anyway, they, uh, you know, people went in and just started grabbing stuff. I mean, they didn't really look, look at what it was. It was like, I just saw people walking down the aisles and grabbing things and throwing them in their cart without even really looking at what they were, which I guess that's one way to do it, you know, yeah. You just start grabbing anything that potentially looks good and then you go through your cart after you have everything, figure out what's in there, what you want to keep or whatever, and then go put it back. I guess that's one way to do it. Um, and maybe a smart way to do it, I don't know. But it wasn't like there was incredible prices or any great treasures to be had. It took me a minute to find their DVD section. It wasn't very big. The actual Goodwill itself was pretty big and it was nice to be to go into one of those stores and not have it smell like, you know, Yeti bunghole. <coughs> so, uh, it, it was interesting. It was something different. You know, I can, I've been to a lot of different thrift stores and Goodwills and, um, this is another one. Uh, I kind of chalk it up there with the outlet Goodwill, which, uh, it's an interesting experience to go in. Don't know if I'll be shopping in there a whole lot or ever again. Uh, unless it's to take somebody there so that they can experience what it's like or unless they have some huge amount of stuff that's coming into one and I find out about or I move to an area that that's all they have. That would be the only reasons I would go into those things again, I think. Uh, and again, nothing special about this. They had all their suits and their VIP people there. Um, I mean, there was a slew of people in suits going in and out. Um, probably, I mean, like 30 or 40 people, I would say. Uh, in suits walking in and out and uh, I would think that if it was a little more of a charity type thing I don't know maybe I wouldn't see that I, I don't know that it's probably just a weird way of me thinking about that so anyway uh, those are my thoughts on going into this place this morning so take it for what you will thanks a few moments later all right, so I just had another thought uh, here as I'm driving back um, about this Goodwill experience I just did, and I may splice this in here uh, at some point in time. You know, what's weird about the Goodwill is, is you go into these places and they smell horrible generally, or they have that just Goodwill smell, um, and you always attribute it to the, uh, 
the junk that's in there. It's been sitting in moldy garages and cupboards and cabinets and stuff like that. And it probably is. But while I'm standing there in line, and everybody's jam-packed in this line, really close, because the line's getting really big. The guy behind me, and he's there with his family, I mean, he farts incredibly loudly. <coughs> and it's not like a kid, it's not like an old man, this is a guy in his like 40s or whatever. And he didn't care, nobody said anything, everybody was just kind of going about their way. And maybe I'm uptight, I don't know, but it's, I came from a family that's like, you don't, if you're in a huge group of people like that, you don't fart incredibly loud so half the line can hear it and just act like nothing happened, you know? And maybe that's what, you know, the people, when we go into these things, maybe, maybe it's the people that's destroying these things. I've seen people walk into Goodwills before that, you, you know, had like crap. They had crap their pants. They have crapped their pants and they're walking into Goodwills. Not this one, but a different one. Um, and they're like walking straight to the bathroom. And it's like, you're gonna go clean that up in the Goodwill bathroom? That's what, I, you know, and I was trying to tell my wife this the other day that, you know, generally speaking, you know, Goodwills have pretty nice bathrooms, the ones that I've been in. And I think that they do a lot to keep it that way. And when people just go in and jack these places up, it kind of, it's a little disheartening, you know? I mean, I'm only going in there really for the video game stuff, but a lot of people are going in there to, to buy all of their household stuff, you know? And uh, I mean, I wouldn't go into Target or, or Walmart or something where we do buy normal household goods and clothes and stuff like that. I wouldn't go in there and mess up the place. Um, so it's just, it just a little disheartening and, um, I mean, that's kind of the nature of the beast, I guess. Um, so, just another thought to jam in here.